Today, we're gonna build a giant Lego minifigure. We're gonna make it look super creepy and realistic, and then we're gonna bring it to life with animatronics. But why? Everyone in our house loves Legos, and we've been itching to make something Lego-inspired for forever. And our son is at Lego summer camp this week, and they're building Lego machines, which inspired us to make our own, like, spooky version. <laughs> Getting it to work, though, is not gonna be easy. We've gotta design, build, sculpt, paint, and program this thing super fast because in four days, we're moving. Like our entire house, and our workshop, and all of our animatronics. Also, we have to pack everything and finish this whole project before the movers get here. Yep, so uh, let's get started. <laughs> We're gonna 3D print the parts of the giant minifigure, but that takes a really long time, so I've only got one shot to get it right. So first, we're gonna use some cardboard to make a prototype. We're gonna cut this into pieces and put it all together and make sure our idea actually works. The plan is basically to make giant cardboard versions of each of the minifig parts, so we get an idea of how it looks, but also where to put all the animatronics. Not only is cardboard easy and fast to work with, but in most cases, you can get it for free. It's the perfect material for prototyping. So cute! <laughs> we want to base our design off of an actual minifig, and there are like a bajillion to choose from. So our first step is to go to a local Lego store and pick out the perfect one. Actually, our first step is getting coffee. Enjoy Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Caffeine acquired, time to hit the bricks. Bricks and minifigs is our local Lego store, and they've got a ton of stuff here. We definitely want to find one of the spooky ones. What? Is that Chucky? That's Chucky! Wait, I think I found it. It's Zeke the zombie from the Scooby-Doo set. And they even have the mystery machine. But we don't need the whole mystery machine, we just need the mini pig. We need the mystery machine. <laughs> okay, fine. Now that the cardboard shapes are together, I can glue in some servos to test if they're gonna fit inside. Then we can also do a quick animation test to see if it's working. <laughs> Look at this, it totally works. Are you uh, sure about that? <laughs> so what's next? So we don't have time to 3D model from scratch. So I'm really hoping that we can find a really good 3D minifig model out there that like we can just use. So look, there's like a thousand. Do any of these look good? We found a great model we can use, which we'll link below. But before we could 3D print the parts, we had to scale everything up to our giant size. And I also did some modifications on the inside to make room for the servos. After that, everything was ready to start 3D printing. And while everything was 3D printing, we could bring the model into Botango and start creating some animation for our minifig. Botango is awesome and it's totally free. I can even set my character up so I can animate it live with a game controller, which we'll try later. These 3D printers are super fast, but this is still gonna take a while. How long is a while? <sighs> At least until tomorrow. I mean, even with three printers going, this thing is huge, so we're gonna be cutting it close. <sighs> okay. All right, well, while those are printing, we need to go shopping again. We're off to my happy place, the craft store. The little baby pilot schools. I'm gonna make this thing super creepy and realistic, but I do want the paint colors of our zombie to match the mini fig exactly. So I'm gonna go find some new paints. I love using these craft paints because they're pretty cheap and they come in so many different colors. I hate mixing colors because I either never mix enough or I mix way too much, so I'm hoping that I can find something that matches exactly. But you know what? We're gonna get close. By some crazy miracle, all the 3D printing finished overnight, and now look at our Lego man. He is so cool, but why are his legs two different colors? Let's just say I didn't get them all right on the first try. Had to reprint a few things. It's been a very long night, but the important thing is we got there. And now we have two days left. Are you ready to start sculpting? I am ready. Let's do this. 
I'm gonna use epoxy sculpt for this because it sticks to everything. It's air dry and it doesn't shrink or crack when it dries, so it is perfect for sculpting on top of toys and things like this. My inspiration for this sculpt is Frank Ippolito's realistic minifigure cosplay. They called it a creepy fig and it really is so creepy and disturbing. Also, North of the Border has done some really realistic minifigs too that are pure nightmare fuel. So between those and then the actual Zeke the Zombie from the Scooby-Doo cartoon, I'm gonna try and combine them all into this weird hybrid creation here. To start the face, I painted the back of a couple of glass cabochons and glued them on for the eyes. The hardest part though was figuring out what I wanted the face to look like. I'm trying to make it look kind of realistic, but it still has to look like Lego, so this was really hard. I used a pencil to draw the mouth, and then I figured as long as I got the eyes and the mouth in the same spot as the minifig, I would have a lot of freedom just to play around with the clay and make this work somehow. I've made some cursed things in my time, but nothing ever like this. I don't, yeah, I don't know what this that is. That is an abomination. It, it truly is. I think we need to just burn it with fire and cancel this project. We may have to. I was originally going to sculpt the clothes too, but then I had the idea to use actual fabric. I cut an old curtain into pieces and glued it on with Mod Podge and it worked really well. Not only do we get a nice texture, but we can use the glue to create folds while still keeping the shape of the minifig. Jay, where are we? <laughs> well, <laughs> There's good news and there's bad news. The good news is we finished all of the fabric and the sculpting and look, I mean, this is the most horrifyingly cursed thing we've ever made. He's, he's beautiful though. <laughs> the bad news though is we missed our deadline. We moved yesterday. This is gonna be one of the rooms of the new shop. We've started to move some stuff over, but most of it is not moved. So it's kind of just a big empty room. Obviously we'll see more of this as we start to move everything over. You'll see the other spaces too. But for now, it is 10.30 at night and first thing tomorrow morning, we're bringing this to the local Lego club to show all the kids. So we gotta get it done. Before we paint it, we have to install all the mechanical stuff to make sure that the animatronics are gonna work. First, I'm using heat to melt in some threaded inserts, which will let me screw directly into the 3D prints. That way I can screw the servos into the mounts and screw the mounts onto the minifig. Since the last time you guys saw this move, I added one more thing. I hollowed out one of these legs and we're gonna put the fourth servo in here, like this. And then this is gonna go on here. And if it all works like it should, we should be able to get waist movement too. There we go. It's like he's steering. <laughs> Ready for this test? Ready. Please work. Please do something. <laughs> Let's go, it's working. That's awesome. Woohoo. Yes, it's midnight, time to paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's midnight, but that's okay. I can do this. We're gonna, we're gonna start with the head and then the body and it's, it's gonna be great.
What happened? Somebody spilled the water. <laughs> I'm not naming names. It's the next morning. Before we see the final result and head off to show the kids, we just want to say thanks for watching. Building an entire project and moving kind of kicked our butts, but we did it anyway. <laughs> hey, sometimes things get hard. That doesn't mean you quit and stop. You just got to push through. Wicked shout outs this week go to Avery, Finnick, Jacelyn, Joseph, Ryan. Thank you for sending us all of this amazing artwork. And of course, all of our new patrons, we appreciate you guys so much. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, stay wicked. Does anybody here like monsters and scary stuff? Yes! yes. I love monsters! Oh my god! And that's real body! Oh my There you go. Nice. And that's real body! Nice. Good job. Make it